Hey folks, we are back on the massive haul. This is one of those giant double boxes, which is packed to the gills. This happened when I was trying to consolidate some of the boxes down, so we were throwing stuff into them. We had just too much to fit into the van at the time, so there's uh, going to be a mix of stuff in here on the top, and then there will be uh, some solid stuff at the bottom, so... Alrighty, let's uh, let's get into it. So, right off the bat, we see a couple of rarities here. So this is an original Nobilis printing. This is that really funky square. Let me just see if I can adjust the camera slightly. It's a square print, um, huge book. And I think it originally sold uh, around fifty bucks from Hogshead, and this was you know early two thousand. So that was like a lot of money from back then, not now. Then there was one, um, this is the original, I think. This is Pharaoh's Press's Nobilis. So um, this is the original first printing. That was the second printing. And then there was another Nobilis that's kind of current now. So um, I don't remember when this one was done. That was a little before I, I was aware of it. All right, uh, here's an oddity. Used to have a ton of these. Knight of the Ninja, it's a, you know, a uh, standalone kind of thing, independent. Uh, nomadic Nature. Not familiar with this one. A new gate. We're going to have some random stuff off the top here. Nemesis, a perfect world. A, a super punk role playing game. Obviously, 1990s. Uh, this is Noir, the Noir role playing game from Archon Press. Again, 90s, kind of remember that one. Uh, Netherworld from Dark Force Games. Netherworld. 90s, perfect bound. Everybody was trying to compete with White Wolf. Nightlife, speaking of trying to compete with White Wolf. This is the Nightlife role-playing game. And, uh, and then we've got some Nightlife supplements. America After Dark. The... Like it was at one point a bundle deal, maybe? Uh, oh well, that's kind of trash at this point. So we got Nightlife, the Nightlife Screen, a Musical Vein, America After Dark, Kinrise, Night Moves. Yeah, so I think this was a bundle deal. They're all brand new. It fell out of the shrink, so nothing I can do about that. Another Nightlife. Another Kinrise. Night Moves. So it looks like we got two full runs of Nightlife here. Here's the screen and the referee's charts. Two full Nightlife bundles. One's like brand new and the other one is not. So, I don't know. Nothing. I mean, it's kind of a neat game, but nothing super special there. Uh, free RPGA module thing from 2008. This is the Traveler Book Zero that they gave away. Uh, who gave this one away? Mongoose gave that one away. Got some other Traveler stuff in here. This is a uh, Double Adventures 1-6 to uh, square bound reprint. These are super tough to find these days. Uh, the Dark Star Traveler Magazine, issue number one. Now, I know somebody was after the Dark Star stuff when it came up earlier, so um, I don't know if that was in there. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to expect a, a message. Here's a uh, Traveler, looks like newsletter, called the Adjutant, Adjutant. Um, issues number one through six, it looks like. Yeah. Uh, 1990. So, Traveler from 1990. We've got a Traveler's Digest from uh, Digest Group Publications. This is issue number 17. Those uh, Digest Group stuff used to be really, really in demand. Here's another one. We've got issue number 19. Cool. Traveler Chronicle number 13, I think that is. Close Air, Close Orbit and Airspace Control Command, COAC, uh, GDW, Traveler. Looks 
like a couple of the um, looks like Travelers Mark Miller's uh, Imperium Games Traveler. Here's Gateway module, the, the Game Master screen, and Psionic Institutes. The Journal of Travelers Aid Society. They did a two issues uh, after it ended in the small format, um, and then they stopped printing this and then went to um, Challenge Magazine. But uh, here's two that Imperium Games did. 26-27 or 26-25 or 20, uh, 25 and 26 were the only two issues they did. Traveler Chronicle again. We've got I don't know. Doesn't tell me the issue number. Oh, number 8. Children of Earth. The Traveler Chronicle special Solomon in, in the New Era, Volume 2. Not familiar with that one. Uh, Traveler Chronicle Anniversary Issue. And Children of Earth, Volume 1, to go with the Volume 2 we just saw. More Traveler Chronicle, Number 12. Imperium Games, we've got Starships. Fire, Fusion, and Steel. I know I sold most of the last batch of uh, Imperium Games Traveler that came in, so kind of good to see that. New Era Source Book. Some Judges Guild Traveler. Uh, they did a good amount of that. So we've got a few things here. We've got the Crucis Margin. The Wasp Winter Module. Uh, I don't know if that goes with that. So look around at this. Rogue Moon of Spinstrom. A. Oh, that's separate. Uh, Sector Guidebook Mark. Uh, I can't pronounce that. You can see it. Lay Sector Guidebook. Marooned on Ghost Ring module. The Simba Safari module. Glimmer Drift Reaches. Doom of the Singing Star. I think that is the it of those. A couple more Imperium. We've got the core rulebook for Imperium soft cover. A Neelik Run module. Anomalies. Long Way Home module. Naval to Architects Manual. Yeah, I am definitely happy to see this uh, Traveler 4 stuff. Uh, Imperium Ve Emperor's Vehicles. Central Supply Catalog. Milizu Zero Hardcover. And... There's some more. And we got Emperor's Arsenal. Missions of State. New Zero. I think this is like a supplement. Not the hard. That's the. Oh, so the hardcover is the campaign book. And then the Milu Zero softcover is just a normal inline book. First survey. Aliens Archive, Imperial Squadrons, and then Pocket Empires. That is it for the. Uh, that is it for the um, Imper Emperor uh, Imperium Games Traveler. All right, so I've got some oddball stuff all through here now. Looks like we've got some JTAS issues. There's 10 and 11. And a lot of, we've got a stack of this stuff. So 12, 13, 18, 17, 14. Traveler's Digest, number eight. So this is a Digest Group Publications version of their, their mod. So book one, two, and three. Pretty rough shape. No box. 
that there. Supplement one, 1,001 characters. Uh, the JTAS 23 and issue 16s. So that's it for those. And then we've got a box set here, but it's got a ton of, ton of stuff in it, so I'm going to take all this stuff out. And then we'll go back to it. So, a um, little bunch of little books here. This is... This is eBay from... <laughs> this is from... Wow. I love to see the dates. 1999 eBay. <laughs> Funny. All right. Uh, Traveler box set. Kind of rough. You know, it's got one or two split corners, but it's it's there. But then we had a bunch of supplements in it, so uh, we'll add those to the pile here. We've got book four, Mercenary. Book five, High Guard. And I'm sure I need a couple of these. Animal Encounters, number two. Supplement to uh, Understanding Traveler. I think that goes in with the box set. Supplement 1, 1001 characters. And Supplement 4, Citizens of the Imperium. And... Uh, the box set I'm looking at has a whole bunch of other stuff in it, so let me just pull out. Huh. Yeah, this is going to be a little tough to do. Okay, so I think all of this was shoved in it, so we'll come back to that and look at this one. See what's shoved in this one. Uh huh. Stuff. Oops. That definitely doesn't belong. That I'm pretty sure that does not belong. Let's see. Referees. Yeah, these are all supposed to be here. So we've got a Mega Traveler box set in pretty good shape. Definitely missing the dice. Uh, I guess not in great shape. It's got some split corners uh, with books in there. So that's cool. Uh, rats. Uh, Me referees Companion for Mega Traveler. Rebellion source book for Mega Traveler. And then original travel, we got the Zodani uh, Alien book, Alien Module Four. Those uh, Alien modules used to be super in demand. Some stuff that is new to me here, and I think it's pretty rare, if I'm not mistaken. Let's, let's get the let's get that aside for a second. Fifty star bases from Judges Guild. Um, that's kind of cool. The rest of this, I want to set that aside because that might be a good thing to end with. A Amicus Probe, Judges Guild, Tancred, Judges Guild. I know I just sold my Tancred, so that's cool. Uh, Encounters in the Phoenix Quadrant. Wow, I've never seen this one. No date. Yeah, no date. Um, gonna have to do some research on that one, but there you go. Small press traveler. Uh, Darth Darthon Queen supplement from Judges Guild. Traveler log logbook also Judges Guild, and Drachne Station is from Judges Guild. Okay. This is the stuff I think is pretty pretty rare. This is uh, Group One Traveler, circa eighty eighty nineteen eighty. So if you think back at the time, it was all the little small books. This was what was being done. This is what was being done um, by GDW. Pretty 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 solid. Generic stuff. Not generic, but like very trade dress. Look at this. Look how crazy that is compared to that. So, group one. This is Port Zanath. Oh, man. Terrible. Uh, yep. 
Skepteran. I, I can't read the font here. It's pretty pretty tough to read. Uh, Wabber Parn. Wow, just crazy. And then the last one is Safis. So four, four group one traveler items. Bunch of other traveler, a lot of Imperium games. Oh, and I got a uh, box set here. I don't think it's complete. This is a um, this is a basic, you know, traveler box set. I uh, know it does on the dice. I, I'll have to look at it, but you know, larger box version. So, so a lot of Judges Guild, a lot of uh, magazines, traveler magazines. Really, a uh, pretty good haul. So I will uh, be working to get this checked in and i um, happy to see some of it coming back because I know I'm out of a uh, chunk of it. And oh yeah, Noble. <laughs> Pretty good haul here. And I'm sorry the video went long, but you know, these double boxes, they take a while to get through. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.